Howdy friends, Tony here with you with another old time banjo lesson. Hope everybody's well today. Now today's lesson is going to be a tad bit different. I mean a little bit different. A tad bit is Appalachian. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be working on an old time folk song, American folk song, called the Crawdad Song. But today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this with a pick, the plectrum pick, the guitar pick, if you will. And this is an old time old time style it's been around forever they use it in Dixieland and they use it in the Bodbell Axe they, this is an old time strumming just just strumming practically every, every bit of this technique here where the pick is strumming and it's all in the wrist and the gauges on your on your pick makes the difference if it's a light gauge you get less sound the heavier the gauge you get more volume I like a medium gauge pick, and like I say, it's all in the wrist. And the song we're doing today is called the Crawdad Song. Let me go over it very slow with you, and it's going to consist of three chords, open G, tune your banjo and open G if you already don't have it tuned, and the key of C, and the key of D7. We're going to go over it real slow and easy to start with. Oh, you get a line, I'll go. Seven. You get a line, I'll get a pole. Go down, there's your C to the crawdad hole. Honey, baby, seven mine. And a lot of people, if, you, if you've not learned how to make the C, I'm going to show you how to make that real quick. And of course, the D7. And making the C, you go all the way down behind the first fret, first string, with your index finger. That's your middle finger. Then you extend your end. Uh, excuse me, index finger up to the second string behind the first fret. Then go all the way up to the number four string with your third finger and you'll be behind the second fret. And this is a C. And it's very easy to make your D7, which uh, your index will be on your second string behind the first fret. Then extend the middle finger up and there, right there on your third string, that's your D7. And of course your open G. When I say open, it means you're not noting anything. Another way to make that C chord and D chord is very easy. You count your frets. One, two, three, four. Go down behind the fifth fret. If you bar the first four strings with your index finger, you got a perfect C. Two more down, six, seven. If you bar those four strings, you got a D. Now you got G and you got C and D. And remember what we're doing here, we're playing with a guitar pick. They call it plectrum, this style. And like I say, it's all in the wrist. Just let your, your forearm wrist across the banjo head there and just let the wrist do all the work. It's very strum. This is really some great strumming on an old time song. Let me go over a little bit of it, will you? Oh, I'm gonna show you some pull-offs too, by the way. You get a line, I get a phone, honey. A I get a phone, babe. You get a line, I get a phone. Now right there is a G7, and it's simple to make. You just take that middle finger and note behind the third fret, fourth string. You got a G7, and that's a transition chord. That will lead you right to C. We'll go down to the road at home, honey, baby mine. I'm gonna call these chords off to you, okay? You get a line, I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line, I'll get a pole. Here's your D7. Back to G. You get a line, there's your G7, now you see. We'll go down to the crawdad hole, honey, now D7, baby mine. That was slow motion there a little bit. And we're going to use the bar chord this time with your C, where you bar all four strings, then your D, right down behind the seventh, and you bar all four strings. We're going to do it using these uh, chords now. Then I'll show you some pull offs. You get a line, I'll get a pole, honey. Baby 
be mine. All right. Let's go one more time, and we're going to do a pull-off this time. What a pull-off consists of is when you're pulling off of one string and back, or hammer on if you call it, hammer on and off, it's our pull-off. We're going to do it on the fourth string behind the second fret. <laughs> people don't do it and there is a few that still practice this trade. If you all want to go down behind the 12th fret all the way you got that high pitch G. That's your G chord too on the high scale. You get a line up. picked up something today with the old time plectrum style of banjo picking. It's a little different, but it's a lot of fun. And you can play anything you want to with a good, good guitar pick. I mean, you can do lead picking, you can play your lead melodies or, or strumming or your rhythm. It works for a lot. A lot of people have a lot of trouble using their fingers and, and their thumbs, you know, for different roles and stuff. Well, you can eliminate a lot of that if you learn how to do with the plectrum pick. It's a good thing for some people. It don't work for all, but it works for a lot of people. It's called the plectrum style. If you want to check me out uh, on my music, you can find my CDs available on eBay. We have one really good one with a lot of old-timey music. It's called Songs of the Civil War, and it's on eBay right now if you want to pick up a copy of my CD. And by the way, I don't charge nothing, and, I, and YouTube don't pay me for this. I'm doing it because I want to learn people how to play music. That's what my goal is in life. But check out my CD, Songs of the Civil War. And that is a dandy. I got a lot of uh, songs on here where I play banjo and some fiddle and guitar. Got a couple of real good old time musicians that joins me on it too. But anyway, hope I've done something to help you out today and I'll catch y'all later. God bless, take care. <laughs>